Well, hi, Richard. Thank you so much for being here with me today for the first video edition of Ask Richard. So for anybody watching this video, if you're not familiar with Richard Gordon, I'll give a really brief intro. He is the founder of Quantum Touch, and he's considered a pioneer and visionary in the world of energy healing, uh, international speaker, best-selling author, and those are just a few highlights from your rap sheet, Richard, which I'm sure is much longer. And for those who aren't familiar with me, my name is Renee Morris. I'm a certified Quantum Touch practitioner. I'm also a Quantum Touch ambassador, spiritual mentor, and passionate about all things related to energy. So we're here today to do the first video edition of Ask Richard, which is a thread, a weekly thread on the Quantum Touch social media channels, where we've shared some of Richard's tweets about all kinds of topics, all related to energy, uh, but not restricted just to energy healing. You talk about artificial intelligence, you talk about the scent of a rose, um, you talk about moving bones from thousands of miles away. So it's this thread is an invite for people to engage with you on these topics and to have you answer their questions in a public way on video. So at the end of the video, I'll tell people how they can submit their questions. And also I'll let them know about your public call for participation in a pretty exciting video initiative that you're doing. So are you ready to answer questions, Richard? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So on today's video, we're going to answer, or you're going to answer uh, two questions. And the first one came in on Facebook from Mike Nettles. And his question, he says, I'd love to know more about healing anger. Certainly it is an indicator of something and useful how do we heal anger? Is it a matter of transforming the anger into a positive action? So how it's about it? <laughs> okay, it's a really good question. Essentially, I created a course called Self-Created Health that teaches people how to find the emotional causes and how to release them. And there's four primary emotions that we suppress, the hurt, the anger, the shame, and the guilt. These are the ones that cause the health conditions. Now we don't just heal the anger. What we do is in a self-actualized way, we let ourselves feel it to the maximum degree. We're not gonna punish anybody, hurt anybody, scare anybody, abandon anybody or anything like this. We're going to release this intensity of emotion because underneath the anger is hurt. And underneath that hurt and anger is love. And they're angry because you didn't get the love. Maybe somebody lied to you. Maybe they betrayed you. Whatever the reason is for the anger, there's a really good reason for it to be there. And we don't want to just whitewash it and sugarcoat it and say, oh, well, just think happy thoughts or something silly like that. What we want to do is we want to get down to the bottom of it where we release all the intensity. The biggest human blockage is the unwillingness to feel the intensity of emotion. And at the bottom of all these emotions is unfathomable love because that's what we actually are beneath our persona. Amazing. I remember seeing in an interview, uh, you saying a quote that was something to the effect of when we bury emotions, we bury them alive and anger has such force to it. So to bury that force has yes. consequences uh, down the road. Absolutely. It seems, you know, it, it leads to health problems, uh, balance problems in your life, you know. Um, so uh, that's something I, I think that for people is very important to know how to deal with. It's the most important because the main source of conditions, of health conditions, is suppressed anger. Yes, the hurt is in there and the shame and the guilt are in there, but at, the anger yeah. is an active emotion and needs to be actively released. And if you don't release it and you hold the resentments or the guilt or whatever, you're going to suffer. And it's only a matter of time. Uh-huh. So this is something that is really a, a priority in terms of people's pursuit of well-being is their emotions. Yeah. And energy healing isn't strictly just for what we consider the physical body. It's for our emotion. Our emotions are energy as well. I would say... 
that the energy work is really great for so many things. But when it comes to anger specifically, I just want to do this emotional process for releasing that intensity because there's no shortcut in terms of, I'm just going to wave my hand and run energy and you're suddenly going to feel fantastic. No, that would be bypassing. And I had one spiritual teacher, <clears throat> excuse me, who called it spiritual rape because you need to go through your process. You need to experience the intensity of all these things and learn how to get to the other side and to bypass it and say, okay, I'm just going to wave my wand and you're not going to feel it anymore. <clears throat> that would be, mm -hmm. that would be um, harming somebody very deeply. Okay. Mental note, no shortcuts on this one. The only way out is through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it. The only way out is through. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you to Mike for his question on Facebook. Uh, great question. The next question is from a follower on Instagram, the username Colin Henry, and he often runs energy on his daughter. And he asked, if the pain moves while I'm running energy, is that a sensation that tells me I'm on the right track? It means you're doing brilliantly well. And in basic quantum touch, we teach to do two major techniques. They're very complex and you have to take notes. The first is, where does it hurt technique? And you put your sandwich your hands over the pain. The second one is chase the pain. So if the pain moves to another spot, that means the primary pain is dissipated, but the secondary pain is still there, or maybe it shows something else. So in one of the workshops that I taught, um, a woman was having a really bad migraine during the class. And a 12 year old was working on her head, running the energy. Where do you feel the pain? Well, I feel it here and here. So that's where he puts his hands. It's not just random. You put it where the pain is. And then she said, well, I feel it all going down to my, to my throat. So he goes to the throat and works on the throat. And then she said, well, I feel it around the liver gallbladder. So he puts his hands there. And then in the class, and the, and the headache was gone, a migraine. And one of the people in the class said, well, I'm an acupuncturist and I know why the throat and the liver gallbladder might be involved in a headache. And I said, yes, but he's 12 and he didn't have to know anything because she just tells him, I feel it here, I feel it here, Da -da, we're done. Because the body intelligence and spiritual intelligence moves the energy where it needs to go to do what it needs to do. And all we have to do is you, you learn to use breathing and body awareness exercises. You amplify the life force energy. It's an active process. Not You're not waiting for the energy. You're bringing the energy. You lift yourself up. And it heals yourself first before it helps the other person. The definition of a healer is someone who is sick and got well. A great healer was someone very sick who got well quickly. And so what we're doing is holding a field of energy so the other person can do their own self-healing. The body intelligence moves the pain from place to place and you just move your hands. So it's not too difficult. Amazing. So congratulations to Colin Henry on Instagram, who is obviously doing an amazing job if this is what they're experiencing and they're they're chasing that pain. Uh, great. Exactly. Thank you so much. Um, so that concludes our questions for this video. If anybody would like to submit questions, they can find the weekly thread on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter called Ask Richard. And it has a sampling of your weekly tweets on all different subjects you have a, we have a, a third participant in the, in the video right now and um so they can submit their questions on those threads that, that they want to have you answer on video um and again on that those threads you cover all kinds of subjects that go way beyond the scope of just what people consider to be energy healing and one of those subjects is your recent project to redefine, redefine the boundaries of what is possible. So it's giving a larger picture of the paradigm shift that is implied in what is happening when we're doing energy healing. And in order to illustrate that, you're participating in these videos, you published two, where you uh, move people's bones from thousands of miles away. And there's usually uh, several participants involved plus a professional like an osteopath so the videos are showing you um 
meditating an, an extraordinarily brief amount of time. And then the osteopath remeasures the alignment of the occiput or the hips. And right now there's 100% success in all the participants. So how can people know more about this project or participate in it? Because you've put an open call to anybody anywhere in the world uh, to gather a group and have this done over Zoom and record it. Yeah, um, we, we're getting a number of people interested right now. And what they're doing is they're getting a chiropractor, physical therapist, or osteopath who will do the measuring. Then they get a group of people there. And then I meditate, align them, we record the call, we publish regardless of outcome. And, and the reason I'm excited about it isn't because there's some great therapeutic benefit to the alignment. There is therapeutic benefit, but it's, it's, it's small but significant. The real reason is because it changes our understanding of physics, medicine, psychology, human identity, philosophy. This would be the biggest paradigm shift in history to move from a simply material viewpoint to merging science and spirituality together. So if they're interested, they can write to quantumtouch.com, mail at quantumtouch.com. If you think you can get together a group, but the other thing I'm working on even more now is to find our advanced practitioners, the people who know how to do what I did, Maybe they take six seconds instead of two seconds. It doesn't matter. But <laughs> we're going to have them creating the same videos. And they'll do long distance work with somebody else in another room measuring, maybe on another continent like we did already. And they will be doing the alignments because the message isn't that Richard is great. The message is this is a basic human ability that everybody can do. We're also looking, now that you're bringing it up, to create a vast movement, to create a bridge between science and spirituality. So anybody who thinks they can help contribute, whether they have access to journalists, philanthropists, writers, scientists, we want to find some open-minded scientists who are willing to explore and study this stuff because we're sitting on breakthroughs. A whole series of outlandish breakthroughs the world doesn't believe in because all the money goes to institutions to study expensive things like like drugs while we have simple non-invasive non-toxic solutions that have extraordinary power so i'm looking to see one day that we create like a massive university type campus that would study all the alternatives, not just quantum touch, but everything and compare everything and see which synergize together and create solutions for the world. So if you wanna participate in creating a new future and you, especially if you feel you have energy or influence, tell us what your gifts are, how you wanna contribute. And we're gonna to put together a team of people around the world to create a new future because we've always known that that science is brilliant at doing some things, but it completely misses the boat when it comes to us as spiritual beings. So this is what I'm passionate about. And the energy work of aligning people from thousands of miles away, it's inspiring and it could create and help create a new branch of science. I call life force science. But that's just one of many pieces that I'm looking at. And so I welcome everybody who has energy, skills, and enthusiasm to join us and create a larger team. Amazing, I love that vision and I will put all the information in the description under the video to make it easy for people to contact you and Quantum Touch if they, can, if they want to get involved. This is exciting, I find it inspiring and I love that vision for the future. So thank you so much for your time today and we'll be back again with the next edition of Ask Richard. And that's all for now. I think that's a wrap. Thank you so much, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. It's a real pleasure.